Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can create private drafts of the SharePoint pages. Let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So um, I'm logged into this um, SharePoint site and I'm the owner of the site and Mary happens to be the member of the site. So Mary has add, added delete privileges. Now, um, the way it works, obviously security in SharePoint is inherited. So what that means that anything I create, whether it's a document or another page on that site, uh, essentially it will immediately be uh, accessible to the other members of my team. However, we now have uh, essentially a feature that allows us to create uh, what's called private drafts of the page. And essentially they stay private to the author until published. Let me explain to you how this works. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to create a regular page and I'll show you what happens behind the scenes. So I'm going to go ahead and create a page on my site. And we're going to click this checkbox a little bit later, but for now I'm just creating a regular page just like that. And let's just say it's a regular page. Uh, that's what I'm going to call it. And essentially uh, the minute I, I don't even have to publish it, all right? The minute I save it as a draft, all right, let's say I'm not ready to publish it just yet. Even when I save it as a draft, my colleague Mary, who is also the member of my site will still see it, all right? And just to prove the point, I'm going to open another browser. This is where I'm logged in as uh, Mary. So if Mary now navigates to the site pages library um, by clicking on pages uh, right here. Uh, Mary can now uh, see my page and she can even publish it. Uh, essentially it's visible to her right away. So now we are going to create a private draft and I'll show you what actually happens behind the scenes when we do so. So uh, once again, I'm going to create a new page just like that. And, but this time I'm going to click that uh, private draft uh, checkbox and we're going to create a page and, you know, just uh, to make the name different, I'm going to call it private uh, draft page, just like that. All right. Uh, now I'm not going to publish it because once I publish, Mary will uh, see the changes. I'm going to save my changes for now. Exactly the same thing I did in the past. But if you notice over here, it says it's a private draft. So if I click on site pages library, I'm going to see it. But if Mary, you know, does the same thing, let me refresh my screen. I'm logged in as Mary here. I'm going to refresh the screen. Look, Mary does not see that page. And essentially that's what this private draft is for. Now, let me actually explain to you what's happening behind the scenes. Essentially it's all done through SharePoint security. When I create a private draft, and this is something by the way, I could do manually on a regular page, but with this checkbox, with this private draft checkbox, it's actually done for us automatically. If I right click on my private draft page and click manage access, you will notice that essentially in terms of security, this uh, page is only visible to all the owners as well as me, you know, the author of this page, all right? And that's the reason why Mary cannot see that page. Essentially, she was excluded from, uh, the, uh, in, from this page uh, via permissions. If I show you, uh, if I do the same on a regular page we created, uh, manage access over here, you will notice, right? Essentially the security is inherited. There is no unique security on the page. Unlike with this one, essentially it's all visible to visitors and members and so on. Uh, now, how do we make this page available um, after you created a private draft? Uh, pretty easy. Uh, literally all you need to do is just publish it. And the minute we publish it, what actually happens, uh, the security on this page changes all right so once again i go back to my pages uh site pages library if i now uh right click and do the same thing you will notice now uh instead of me and the owners it's now essentially everyone the visitors and members uh essentially the security is inherited now on this particular page and if i uh, go to mary's uh screen once again essentially the page now obviously uh appears for mary as well and uh she can obviously see it because she is a part of the members group and she can even edit the page and 
uh, essentially make the, all the changes that you need. Uh, so uh, this is a great feature uh, sometimes. And by the way, this applies to regular pages. It also applies to uh, news and announcements. So uh, if you create a, a, a new news post, for example, you also have a choice to create it as a private draft. Maybe you're creating an announcement and it should be confidential for some time. You can actually uh, check that box. And once again, it will behave just like a regular, you know, essentially just like a private draft of a page. Uh, so that's all I wanted to show you in this particular episode. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com. Uh, and uh, happy to see you on my YouTube channel again. Thank you. Bye-bye.